What is up, math class? Welcome to the end of another fabulous week of online learning. One of your biggest critiques about my class was that there wasn't enough celebrity guests. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome you guys, my good friend, Cardi B. Cardi, what's up? Are you Cardi B, even though that's not your name? I mean, can you even pronounce my real name? My real name is Belkalese. <laughs> no, my friends just call me Cardi. That's so interesting, Cardi. And why do you think kids should stay in school? I want to know something. I think I want, like, a Lamborghini truck. Because I need, like, a baby car, even though I don't drive, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? You don't... Is there anything else you'd like to say to our eighth grade math class before you go? See, any friends like you, all, all my right. friends just get me into fights and trouble. No. Party with Cardi, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Once again, that was Cardi B giving you guys a shout out and hoping you guys do really well in your current math class. Um, we will now return to your normally scheduled math program. What's up, guys? Mr. Carter here. Good to see you. Uh, one thing I wanted to do in this class is my goal is to teach you how to teach yourself, because if you were able to do that, Mr. Kari can just sit back on the couch and play video games and you guys can get smarter than I could ever force you to be in the classroom. So what is learning, right? Um, I would like everybody to take a second and in their dominant hand or their right hand, just write your name. It takes like a second, right? Looks like your name, awesome. Now put the pen in your other hand and write it with your left hand. Notice that feeling, right? Your brain struggles a little bit to write your name, right? Your hand is not as confident as it was in the other hand, right? That is what learning feels like. Learning is a struggle, right? Your brain has to reach out and create a new connection to a new brain cell inside your head, right? It does not want to do that. And so to get yourself to learn, right? you need to be able to create an experience that your brain actually wants to participate in, right? So doing something brand new is one way to learn. If we do something brand new, our brain is interested and excited and it will retain that memory. And that's really all learning is, is we're trying to make new memories um, about a subject that kind of is boring, right? Math, right? We're trying to make new math memories. Um, one way we're going to do this today is we have a very important concept. So I want everybody to go grab some paint and find a wall and get a paintbrush. And we're going to do some paint math on the wall today. Totally just kidding. Please don't paint your walls. Your parents will kill me. Uh, Mr. Carr, you can do this because I own my house and I'm going to hang a picture over it later. So <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a few words. So today our words to our word to learn is congruent. All right, congruent shapes. Congruent shapes are exactly the same. They are the same size. They have the same angles. They are exactly the same. And you can tell that Mr. Cartwright traced these out and they're exactly the same, right? Congruent is two of the same shapes. Our next word to learn today is similar. And with similar, we have the same shape, but it's a different size. So a similar shape looks the same, just like this triangle, right? But it is a lot bigger, right? That would be a bigger triangle, but you can see how all the angles are the same, right? The angles are the same, but the side lengths have changed. That would be similar. So we have congruent, where they're the exact same, but they're in different spots. And we can get those through our transformations, right? If we reflect, rotate, or translate something, it stays congruent, right? It's the same shape, it's just moved somewhere else. However, similar is not the same. It's the same shape, because all the angles are the same, but it is a different size. It could be bigger or it could be smaller, right? We could have a smaller, similar shape, but do you see how all of the angles are the same? That is similar. 
both angles and side lengths are the same, that is congruent. You can get congruent shapes by the transformations we've learned so far. So from here to here, all I did was translate, right? But if I rotated and drew the triangle over here, once again, went for the same triangle, but Mr. Cartwright only has one take of painting on the wall. So this is the triangle that is the same as this triangle, even though they don't look the same. Anyways, that would be a reflection, right? A reflection causes a congruent shape. And finally, last but not least, if we rotated this guy and he was like over here, and it was the same size, that would also be a congruent shape, okay? Um, similar is the same angles, but different sizes. And now we are going to go look for congruent and similar shapes around Mr. Cartwright's house. Um, the last thing are shapes that are not the same. So if you have a star and a smiley face, they are neither similar nor congruent. They are neither. Okay. Take it away, Mr. Carrey. Let's go find some congruent and similar shapes. Yeah. What's up, class? Let's determine whether the two images in the picture are congruent, similar, or totally different. That's right. Dogs and cats are totally different. They are not congruent or similar. Are these two butterflies congruent, similar, or totally different? Very good. They are similar. They are different sizes, but everything else about them is exactly the same. Are these twins congruent, similar, or totally different? An argument can be made that they are congruent because they are almost identical, but twins are not entirely identical. So they are technically totally different. Congruent, similar, or totally different. All right, I was going for similar here. You can see how the small car is almost exactly the same as the large car. So this would be an example of similar. However, if you wanted to get super specific, they are not the same. And therefore they could also be called totally different. What about your hands? Are your hands congruent, similar, or totally different? Your hands technically should be congruent to each other. However, this is the real world. And for instance, Mr. Cartwright has a scar on one hand that he doesn't have on the other. Therefore, my hands are totally different. However, all sizes and angles are the same, which makes them similar. Once again, to wrap up, congruent, same size, same shape, different location. You get there by transforming things. Uh, similar, same shape, different size, can be bigger, can be smaller. Totally different are things that don't match up with each other. So if there's a difference from one object to the next, they are totally different. Thank you for watching the live video and please now return to the classroom.